Hello and welcome with another video. Today I'm here again with you people with this reaction named as Ken Zero's reaction. This is also called uh, Disproportionation Reaction. And um, it's, you know, you can find it in many books. So I hope you will today enjoy the mechanism I'm going to show you well here right now so i'm professor dr moina mughal from dr kazi institute of chemistry university of sin jamsharo and i'm here with you people so let's start and let's uh, let's jump into this reaction so the disproportion reaction is this is called cannon's reaction in which the hydroxide ions that is these ones hydroxide ions react with an aldehyde they react with an aldehyde right aldehyde so uh, in and producing what two reducing ions or anions they will produce two reducing reducing anions fine uh, or anions okay the second one of these two anions is difficult to produce as compared to the first one okay so I will show you how this goes on RCO H okay you are going to react it with a hydroxide ion what simply attack this and with the result this will these electrons will move towards this oxygen and it will oxygen will be having a partial negative charge this carbon will be left with a partial positive charge okay now this is as you can see this is a nucleophilic attack on carbon of this aldehyde group this is a nucleophilic attack nucleophilic attack attack on carbon of the aldehyde carbon of the aldehyde now what will it produce it's, it's a reversible reaction you are going to get C O and this would remain oh this OH will be here and then this H and then this OH would come out here like this and what you are going to call it is a hydrate ion hydrate ion it's a hydrate ion which then further form will be like this um, O negative then this O negative and the hydrogens plus with the expulsion of water molecule what you are going to call this it is a dianion Dianion formation. Now, this was the first step in which you are going to get this dianion. Now, the second step, as uh, I mentioned, is more difficult to produce as compared to the first one. Just so the, now, what is happening here, the second step is the ray determining step. I'll show you in a moment. Now, the ray determining step is here. Now here the hydroid ion from this 
monoanionic molecule on carbonyl carbon is transferred. So how it's going to be? It's be like that. This hydrogen. be like that it's a dashed you know uh, arrow with the result the movement of electrons again towards this oxygen and you will get R C O O H Yes, plus R C O negative and this would be again like this so now uh, the transfer of these hydride ion is accomplished by these anions transforming to a carbon -al carbon in uh, one more or in another aldehydic molecule. So what is happening here now? It's going to be like that. R C O and O negative like this plus So now here is simply, this is happening transfer of the hydride ion from the monoanionic molecule on uh, carbonyl's carbon, right? So this is happening here, so now what we are going to get here is plus for some, yeah, so R, uh, C, O, H, then again, H and H. Right? So, hi, as I just said, that hydride ion is uh, a transfer of on hydride ion transfer is facilitated by oxygen's electron donating effect. So, now what is uh, happening here? Oh, my camera. Um, I again rub it and then I'll show you. Let me know. So, uh, would be like that. Yeah. Okay. Negative. The hydrogen here plus R um, double bond C and O and H. How this happened? First. This would move towards here, and this hydrogen would be like this, right? And you are going to have the reaction again in the reversible reaction. You will get the products like that C double bond O um, with an R and oxygen negative. Plus carbon, hydrogens, and of course the R. So uh, here now, what is happening? A dianion formation took place here. A dianion formation. place here writing took place also <laughs> took place here right so and you are here one molecule is oxidized and gave us now here what is happening here is one molecule is oxidized and it will give us the carboxylic acid and whereas the other one is reduced to give us the alcohol right so this was something about the canon zero's reaction and you know the reaction mechanism behind this and I hope that you will have some idea now that how the reaction mechanism it goes on and what is happening here as I've just mentioned uh, 
it earlier that uh, it's a simply a disproportionation reaction and uh, that's what and this is and what do we call it a Cavendish reaction in which simply the hydroxide ions react with an aldehyde producing two reducing ions or two you two anions you can make all it two anions the when we are if we we'll, if we we'll focus on the second one it is very difficult to produce as compared to the first one right so the basically the transfer of hybrid ion is taking place and it is accomplished by these anions transforming uh, to a carbonyl carbon in one more aldehydic molecule or in another aldehydic molecule which i have shown you in the uh, mechanism you can turn the page and you can see that this is this has happened and this reaction is progressed really by the nucleophilic attack what is happening what type of a reaction it is it is progressed by a nucleophilic attack of the hydroxide ion and this is what has happened in this uh, i mean this reaction so i hope this you like this video and you will uh, understand the things which you have not been understood up till now and maybe it would be helpful to you like i mean like it would it has helped my other students thank you very much